Hello. So today I kind of wanted to talk about the idea of friendship. I have always thought of friendship as this kind of, I want to say infinite thing, but more of like just something that doesn't really have a beginning or an ending. I have friends with whom I fall in and out of contact, and I'm sure that that's the type of thing that will happen more and more as I get older because of just how like life works. I guess like throughout elementary, middle, and high school, I've just never really thought of friendship as something that has like a definitive beginning and ending, right? There's always this formality when you meet a new person that sometimes you'll say like, let's be friends or let's hang out more, that kind of thing to like cue the kind of start of a friendship. And sometimes it's like you meet someone for the first time and you instantly have this connection and you're like, yeah, you, I'm your friend now, pretty much. And then when friendships end, I feel like most of the time it's just this thing where, like going off to college, that happens a lot, where you just kind of fall out of contact. You don't talk to them for months at a time, and then sometimes you'll just check in and be like, hey, what's up? I guess there's also like this dis distinction between acquaintances and friends and what kinds of relationships you would consider friendships versus acquaintanceship. I remember last year in my German class, we spent an entire week talking about the idea of like the Bekannt. Oh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I haven't tried to speak German in a long time. And just like cultural differences in the way that we think about friendship versus acquaintanceship and the idea that each person probably only has two or three real friends while everyone else is a kind of acquaintance. I guess for me, um, like living in America, I do put all of these things under that kind of friendship umbrella, but for me there are like tiers of friendship. And I think that like those tiers are pretty fluid for me, or at least they always have been, except that like recently I've come into contact with people who very clearly do not seem to have that same idea of what entails a friendship. I guess I've kind of put friendship and um, the idea of like a romantic relationship on like different categories completely, where though one can morph into the other, there is always like this more clear boundary of what constitutes the beginning or the ending of a romantic relationship, whereas friendships are just this fluid thing that happens and I guess requires less, I don't know, like less navigation, or at least they should. And that like it's only when feelings for people come into play that the boundaries slash idea of beginnings and endings will also need to come into play. Like if a friendship blurs the line between platonic and romantic, then that is something that needs to be addressed, but like that's a different species than just the thing that is a normal platonic relationship. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying actually. There's also the other factor of like the idea of friendships as a kind of like familial thing, where I guess I've always thought of family as just the, the group of people that I'm very close to, the, the, the kinds of people that I can just be around comfortably without really needing to do something, you know? Like there are friends where like when you hang out with them you have to be doing something, but then there are also friends where you can just like kind of lie around and it's like this nice feeling of just like communalness. And I think that's also very valuable. I, I guess I kind of decided to make this video about friendship because yesterday we had like family dinner with a bunch of our friends. We have been like in a group since freshman year and I think that's something that's like really valuable in my life and that I think people should have as like a wonderful thing in college. Yeah, I guess now I'm kind of just rambling. So I am going to go to class, for which I am almost late and I really shouldn't be, but um, yeah, three hour seminar, here I come, and I will see you tomorrow.